In the 1980s, Frankie goes to Hollywood, rode the pop gravy train for four years. Last November, Frankie was asked to reform for a Prince of Wales charity concert, celebrating the work of their producer and mentor, Trevor Horn. Bassist Mark O'Toole, singer Paul Rutherford and drummer Peter Pettgill were all keen to perform, but lead singer Holly Johnson could not be persuaded. Disappointed but determined to give it one more shot, the group decided to audition for a new frontman, throwing down the gauntlet to any vocalist, be they cool or a fool, who felt up to the challenge. This is what happened when Frankie say reform. Well, it's Sunday morning, it's a little early. I mean, I don't know whose bloody idea it was to do it on a Sunday. <laughs> Your eyes are so bloodshot. Oh, no. <laughs> I got talked about last night and I'm not very happy bunny today, but there you go. <laughs> La 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 la! So they're looking for a singer, I suppose, partly for the Prince's Trust show, but I think at the back of their minds they're looking for somebody full time and maybe they're going to get back together again. We're just missing one vital element. Yeah, that would be the vocals. <laughs> <laughs> With hangovers ruling out Paul and Mark's desire to face the music, round one of the auditions is to be judged by Trevor Horn's assistants. We're the first line of defence here, so we're going <coughs> to cut the wheat from the chaff. We're going to get rid of the, uh, the mad people. And um, actually, I probably shouldn't have said that, should I? <laughs> <laughs> we are very disappointed that Holly isn't kind of doing it because he's, he's, ir he's irreplaceable. When two tribes go to war, murder's all that you can. <laughs> well, the women have got more chance in my box, but if you'd ask him, I'm sure he'll say, all oh, the guys have got a better chance. There you go. <laughs> you said it for me. <laughs> I'm rooting for the boys. <laughs> Relax, don't do it. A bit of animal. I think we realised how, how important a band we were in the 80s. You know, we were pretty good, you know what I mean? Fantastic records. And, and that's the spirit that we're kind of doing it back in. You know what I mean? And I want that to kind of exist again. Tread the boards and listen, <laughs> have a little bit of a laugh, you know what I mean? So. Some of them had good voices, but they're not the right look. Um, some of them had a lot of attitude, and some of them have had a lot of freak going on. Thank you all for coming. I'm going to tell you who's got through and who hasn't. Adam Fisher stayed on one side. And the rest of you, thank you for coming. Um, there's only actually only one person we want to have back, and that's number five, and that's Scott. And Simon, number 20, yes. With the first round complete, disappointed hopefuls exit the building as the band and Trevor Horn take their places at the judges' table for round two. OK, we're ready. Oh, yeah, America! My shirt is my fan, you shot. Working for the bad guys. <laughs> relax, don't do it when you wanna go to it. Relax, don't do it when you wanna go. I don't think it's going so far. No one was enjoying the last guy. <laughs> I, I wanted him to go on for longer. I, I was curious to see where it would lead. <laughs> Things are locking up. John Cleese of rock, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Just going to retreat for a few minutes to have a conversation. With round two complete, Paul, Mark, Trevor and his partner Jill need to confirm who's made it to the final three. <laughs> three people, Scott, Simon and Ryan. Is Ryan here? Fantastic. Oh! Are <laughs> you all right? Cowboy number one. Cowboy number one. On again for man son. On the air, America, our model shirts. Bob Van Helsing. Ryan from Newcastle.
Castle clearly impresses the judges. And up next, it's Simon from Birmingham. Here we go, we're two tribes go to walk. Point is all that you can score. We're two tribes go to walk. Point is all that you can score. seems to be pushing Thank all you, the Scott. right buttons for Mark and Paul. For me, it's between Scott and Ryan at the moment. He's got all of it about him. You know, the funny thing is that when he came on, you could tell he was had the most experience. Yeah. Yeah. He was yeah. the most confident. Do you want me to go and tell each of them? I'll go and tell each of them and be nice. Thank you very much, Simon. We're going to be choosing Ryan. Wicked. Woo! Hey! <laughs> hey, thanks, man. Yeah! Woo! Man, you're right. I didn't expect to win, man, to get through the final and stuff, and it was... This is really good. It's really surprising. It's been a great day. So, Ryan is the boy's choice to fill Holly's shoes. But with just 10 days to go before they perform before 10,000 people, is there really enough time for Frankie to reform? Uh, we're in Bermondsey, uh, south of the river, a uh, music bank. 